let us now go to the actual computation. How we can calculate the stage and actually remember this very important principle. Very important principle. So we have what, three stages and our important part is this one. And we can use this one actually in the code uses this uh, uses this uh, diagram ultimate is correct diagram do you know do you know that the code uses ultimate strength design do you know that the code uses ultimate strength design that is equivalent to LRFD ultimate strength design is coming from the ultimate strength states. This is the states. So, actually, this state is important, but we want to uh, to measure. It is very hard. Think of it. it is very hard to measure the portion. Why? Because because it is not easily noticeable by visual inspection. We can immediately notice this, but we cannot immediately know what, which point is important in this curve. You cannot say you can you can estimate this one, this one. But if you say which point is important, immediately we know. Because it is the vertex of this. That is the reason why it is very difficult to measure this in the laboratory. Okay? This one we can measure. And also, this one we can measure because that is the highest point. It is easily recognizable even visual inspection. Okay? That is the reason why instead of using this, which have the important section, we are using this. And what? Just what? Just like what I've said, just divide by 2, that is 1, and divide by, or multiply by 2 thirds, that is 1, so we can have that. So, ultimate, divide by 2, and times 2 thirds, we have this portion, very important portion. Are we clear? That is how the code provides the structural engineers around the world something to use about what we call this is what we call model this is model so the code states that we don't model this one and this one to be of use for reinforce uh, concrete structure now this is a very bad or very difficult very difficult portion to model. Unlike this one, it is simple, simple to compute, it is simple to calculate. How can you compute this? So it is not uh, as simple as uh, this one. That's why, that's why, instead of using this, the code provides that this one is that equal to this. According to the code. Now, let us model this one to be equal to this. As an estimate. That is how the code uh, gives us the provision of the law. Okay? So the expert, the expert had the consensus. They talk uh, within themselves, they did decide. decide. However, the code did not specifically use rectangle. They even they even they even stated that you can use semicircle, you can use any regular shape, you can use other regular shape, not just rectangle. However, everybody around the world just rectangle. Why? Why? Because it is a, the simplest shape. 
the pure water in this one by semicircle, for example, or, or trapezoid, you can do it. That is allowed by the boat, but nobody actually use it. Everybody around the world use rectangle. That is the reason why we are. So this is actually how it came to be. Notice, notice the supposed, the supposed neutral axis, the supposed neutral axis is here. But the model, the approximation given by the code is written on the red and about the same, about the same width, the neutral axis of straight. They are about the same level. The important thing to, to remember in this principle is the red. The red portion, this red portion, should have the same area with the black portion. That is the only condition given by the code. So you can use any shape you like. The only condition is the shape you are going to use should have the same area with the actual or the black portion okay same area so the same area is like this so it is not uh, with the same one neutral axis neutral axis of red neutral axis of black okay so that's how it came to be so now we are through with all of the theoretical underpinnings of this topic and we must go now to the Example, let us use this principle into actual example. Okay?